Alright guys, welcome back to Tio Today, Tio Lu here and welcome to our 90 day daily video challenge. Every single day we're dropping videos all about personal finance, business investments and passive income. So in the previous videos we talked about the stock market, how does it work, how you can make money and why do companies list themselves in the Philippine Stock Exchange and why you as an investor buy and sell these shares of companies. Anyhow, ngayon yung pag-usapan natin next would be Okay. What if wala kang time for investing in the stock market? You don't have that much time. Kasi ganito, if you want to invest in the stock market, right? You need to invest time. You need to read business news. Okay? Business news. Diba as I mentioned in the previous videos, sa newspaper, my business section diyan, diba? Diyan mo makikita lahat ng mga balita all about the different stocks that are listed in the market. Okay, kasi again, they are publicly owned. The public knows, has the right to know ano nangyayari sa mga companies. Okay? Kasi they are publicly owned. Partly, di ba? Eh, kung mahilig ka bang magbasa ng business news or show business news lang yung binabasa mo, yung show business, di ba? So, dapat, dapat, as an investor, you also need to be acquainted with this one. Okay? And by the way, before tayo mag-proceed, okay? If you haven't seen the previous videos, balikan mo day 1 up to day something 14 na ngayon, I think, or day 15 na ba ngayon? <laughs> I don't keep track. Anyhow, or visit freedomloveph.com. Again, it's freedomloveph.com and you'll discover different topics there all about personal finance, business investments, and passive income. Alright? So now going back, going back, going back. Next. If you invest in the stock market, do you have time to be online 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m.? Okay? Kasi yung stock market, para siyang merkado. It's gonna open at 9.30. Tama ba? 9.30 or 9 a.m. Yeah. So, it's gonna open at this time and it's gonna close at 3.30. If may work ka at this one, Mondays to Fridays. Excluding holidays, di ba? Excluding holidays. So, if may work ka ng Mondays to Fridays, Tapos, walang holidays din, okay? Tapos, you're not online dito kasi may work ka, di ba? How can you buy and sell? <laughs> How can you buy and sell your stocks? How can you monitor? Okay? Actually, meron naman mga offline hours. You can invest even if, if offline hours. But you cannot maximize yung investments mo. Okay? At the same time, you have to learn to read graphs. Kasi in the stock market, the market goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay? Do you appreciate learning this strategy? Okay? And then at the same time, if you want to invest in the stock market, dapat meron kang investable funds. Investable funds. Okay? Kasi ganito. Kung wala kang investable funds, tapos yung pera mo, may income ka, di ba? Tapos nakikita mo, yun, down yung market ngayon. It's time to add. It's time to invest. Sasabihin mo sa mga anak mo, mga anak, hindi mo na tayo kakain ngayon, ha? Kasi mag-invest tayo sa stock market. <laughs> hindi, hindi pwedeng ganun. Hindi pwedeng ganun. Dapat may, may extra ka talaga. So, yung income mo, part of it, set aside mo, like 20%, 10%, 20%, yan yung investable funds mo. Kapag hindi talaga kaya, huwag muna. In fact, we're now at level number three. Balikan natin muna yung level 1, increase cash flow, money, manage our expenses. Level number 2, we need to protect ourselves first. Kukuha, kukuha ka ng life insurance, health care, emergency funds. Alis mo lahat ng utang, okay? And then invest, investable funds, okay? So, kapag ikaw, wala kang time dito, wala ka naman dito, and then parang it's kind of challenging to learn all these technicalities, okay? Pero meron kang investable funds, okay? Ano ba yung option mo? Okay? Ano ba yung option mo? Dito na papasok yung tinatawag natin na yung cousin ng stock market. Cousin ng stock market, mutual funds, okay? Mutual funds. Alright. So mutual funds, these are investment companies. Alright? They are an investment company. Tapos, yung ginagaw ginagawa nila is, ayun, investors, they pull their money. Let's say, for example, may 1 million dito, may 100,000 dito. Ito naman, 1,000 pesos. Okay? Kasi you can invest in mutual funds in the stock market for as low as 1,000 pesos. 
para ka lang nag-open ng bank account, mas mahal pa nga yung ibang maintaining balance ng ibang mga banks dyan, di ba? <laughs> so, yung mutual funds, what they're gonna do is they're gonna invest it in two primary sources lang. Bonds, okay? Government and corporate bonds, which we talked in the previous videos, and they invest it in the stock market, okay? Mutual funds, they are handled by fund managers. Experts na to. Lagi yung nagre-research. Okay? Isa lang na yung gagawa nung para sa'yo. And so far, on average, 12% more or less per year. This is like, I think, 5 to 10 years average return. Okay? So, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Kasi sa stock market, you can potentially earn more than 12% interest per year. Okay? Potentially. Pwede ka rin malugi na yan. Okay? But the mutual funds, they do it for you. Yung kailangan mo lang, meron kang cash. You let the fund managers do it for you. They invest in bonds. They invest in the stock market. And they give you pretty decent investment return. Alright? So, are mutual funds safe? They are pretty much safe. Kasi, again, bonds are safe. We mentioned it in the previous video. Stock market, pretty safe also. Imagine, ah, like, bibili ka ng Jollibee, bibili ka ng SM, bibili ka ng BDO. Do you think those are safe companies? They're pretty solid and stable companies, di ba? So, you'd rather invest in those companies than some random company giving you 30% interest per month, di ba? Grabe yun. So, yeah, so, you might want to invest in solid investments. You mga legit and stable companies talaga. And mutual funds, dyan. Dyan ini-invest nila yung pera. That's why they can give you this good amounts of return. But again, the pro is that all you need is cash and let them do it for you. The cons, since you're doing it, they're doing it for you, I think meron sila ang tinatawag na management fee every year, okay? Management fee. Like around 1 to 2 percent, which is pretty okay then. And then sometimes meron din sales load. So every time nag like, invest ka, part of your investments, like 2 percent, 3.5 percent, kukunin yung as a sales load. Okay, whatever is left, yun yung ma-i-invest dun sa mutual fund mo. Okay? And then, yun. That's how mutual funds work. And then at the same time, I'm also going to share a little on cousin of a mutual fund. <laughs> cousin of a mutual fund. So yung mutual fund is a cousin of the stock market. Tapos yung mutual funds, meron yung cousin, tinatawag na UITFs. <laughs> Unit Investment Trust Funds. These are bank products. Bank products. So basically, para din siyang para din siyang mutual funds, okay? Pero instead na ikaw yung part owner, kasi kapag investor ka ng mutual fund, you are, you get shares of the mutual fund company. Meaning, you're a part owner. Part owner of the mutual fund company. Okay? Si mutual fund, they invest in the stock market, they invest in, in big companies. Like our part owner can mutual fund because you get shares in return. Pero sa UITF naman, it's the same way. I think UITFs, if I'm not mistaken, they also invest it directly sa stocks, okay? Or they invest it in mutual funds. Parang yun okay? So yung bank, the bank, they are the, they are the shareholder. The bank are the shareholder of your investments. What the bank's gonna give you are units. Units, okay? Meaning, you invested in their investment, pero si bank siya yung shareholder. Binigyan ka lang ng units, okay? But I think yung, yung performance ng UITFs uh, slightly lower or more or less the same with mutual fund investments. Alright? So, yun yung difference lang talaga niya. Alright? So, UITFs parang mutual funds din, invest it in the market, right? but the bank siya yung shareholder, okay? But the mutual funds, you are the shareholder, I'd rather be a part owner. I'd rather invest directly to the mutual funds. And mutual funds will do it for you. Sila na yung invest sa stock market. Again, if you don't have the time to learn, if you don't appreciate business news, okay? And 
yun, you can go directly to mutual funds. Pero if may time ka naman, if you want to learn more about stock market, you could also do it yourself. Alright, anyway, yan yung goal ko in next following videos. Let's dig deep on mutual funds. Let's dig deep on the stock market, how it works, yung mga strategies na pwede mong gawin. And, ayun, para ma-achieve natin yung desired lifestyle natin. Alright, build multiple sources of passive income so that you'll be able to live the lifestyle you desire. Once again, Tio Clue here and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!